Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and thank you for tuning in. Today we're going to be talking about something very special and that is how to attack a Town Hall 9 in war without bowlers. It's a question that I've been asked a lot. It's like once bowlers came out, everybody uses bowlers, but what if my clan doesn't have Town Hall 10 or, or is never on and can't donate bowlers for the clan castle? Well, here is 10. <laughs> 10 attacks that all are Town Hall 9v9 that do not contain bowlers. Uh, Life Source, Dominant Tour, we, we pulled a bunch of guys from our clan family, did a Town Hall 9v9 friendly war, and uh, got some really awesome attacks. So these are all ground attacks. Um, I do have another video coming that has all air attacks that do not contain bowlers. So let's just, let's just get right in there, shall we? And discuss what we've got going on. Now, whenever you get in there and you look at a base, you decide, all right, what is the main objective? Well, generally, the main objective is take out the enemy queen or both heroes. You want to take out the enemy clan castle, and then it depends on what strategy you're going to use. You want to uh, attack the, the, the base uh, based on the, the weaknesses of the base. So at this point, guys, this base, Chunosaurus is using, old Dirty Baskets attacking, has all of the air defenses in one spot. Now, I know I said this is mainly an air attack, or a ground, this is mainly ground, and this attack has nine Valkyries, so it is more, uh, it's like majority ground, but it's also got some air, it's got some baby dragons, but look at the base design, guys. We've got a blatant weakness. We've got all of the air defenses on one side of the base. Now, this is a very common building strategy where it's an anti air base you put all the air defenses on one side you put all the air traps on the other and it makes it extremely difficult to take this base out with la lunian but it is you know it's vulnerable to other things and so what old dirty baskets doing is he's coming at this base with a queen walk go, uh, uh, <laughs> a baby dragon valkyrie i think it's called a go baby okay so what this base or what the strategy is going to do is you're going to use a queen walk take out some of the air defenses use the kill squad which is valkyries normally you'd have baby or a uh, bowlers but this time you've got valkyries you've also got um golem you got king everybody's going to go in take out the enemy queen take out the enemy clan castle which has already happened and then also you want to take out all the air defenses now i think old dirty basket did this on purpose where it kind of came around everything instead of going straight at the air defenses because of that sweeper that's right there um but his goal right now the baby dragons are just for cleanup the goal is for that kill squad to take out all of those defenses so they're in there they got the expo he wants them to go toward the air defenses take them out for the baby dragon but you can see lots of valkyries in this kill squad normally you don't see that if you have bowlers but valkyries are an amazing uh what's the best way to put it like a like a poor man's bowler if you will uh, a poor man's bowler where you end up with Valkyries kind of going through and wrecking inside of compartments instead of bowlers, which are going to wreck inside and outside over the wall of bowlers. And by the way, apologies for the stutter in the video. Uh, I don't know what happened there. But anyway, Old Dirty Basket grabs that three star. It was very nice. And uh, using the uh, Go Baby strategy of the Queen Walk. So very nice. Now, a lot of these other attacks, guys, are going to be ground based mostly hogs but we've also got some witches so let's just take a look at this base so look at this base we got a fairly centralized air defenses but it is still anti-lalo you get all the wizard towers on one side all the air defenses on the other so dirty angela is going to come at this base funny name right so he's going to come at this base with a queen walk to take out the enemy queen he also wants to lure and kill the clan castle with that queen walk take out some of the air defenses and what he's doing if you can if you can see you you don't know because the base hasn't been uh attacked yet but all the giant bombs are theoretically on the top and left side of the base and giant bombs are still difficult for hogs to take out so right now what he's doing is he's going to send in his queen walk he's going to clear all the defenses inside and that's going to free the hogs from the giant bombs so he does have three heal spells or three rage spells though this is a spin-off on a lot of what you guys have heard about hog riders okay one of the major things that people think about hog riders Put them in a heal spell, put them in a heal spell, put them in a heal spell. And I've even heard people say, I've heard, I've read comments of people saying, if you rage a hog rider, you're a noob, you know? Uh, you're about to see something very interesting, and that is that these 
Hog Riders in Dirty Angela's uh, uh, army composition is going to be accompanied by some healers, okay? So this is a hog heal strategy with Queen Walk, and he's only going to raise them. He's not going to heal a single hog. So let's just see how he does it. Clan Castle, uh, Hog Riders going down, healers behind, and instead of dropping these raid spells, like or hate spells like you would expect, he's going to deploy raid spells and get these Hog Riders through these defenses very, very quickly. I think he trips over maybe one giant bomb, one of them that happened to be on this side of the base. But raging hogs, right? <laughs> you don't expect to ever see that. But it's a strategy that can be used on specific bases if you can send the hogs in in the blind side of the sweepers and keep them raged up. Now, unfortunately, the healers did get wrecked by some air targeting uh, skeleton traps. But at the end of the day, there's that giant bomb. Okay, so at the end of the day, guys, these, these raged hogs are going to completely overpower this base and it ends up being GG for him. So, uh, very interesting attack strategy, guys. I don't recommend using that unless you definitely practice it a lot. It's very unusual strategy, but it definitely worked to grab the three star for Dirty Angela. So, very, very nicely done. Now, moving on, guys, we will see... The Landlord against Troll and Engage. Now, Landlord is coming at this base with a simple, straight Govaho. How many times have you heard me say that? Well, if you're new to the channel, not very often, because Govaho has not been a very uh, popular strategy. But Govaho is simply a Gohobo without the Bowlers and Valkyries instead. So Bowlers are the preferred kill squad troop because, you know, in Govaho, as you see here, we've lured the clan caster. You're going to kill it. That's one of the objectives, but you also want to get your Valkyries or your Bowlers into the core and gut it, distract some troops, get some giant bombs triggered before you send in your Hawks. So Govaho works the same way as Gohobo. Gohobo, you got your Golems, your Bowlers, and your uh, your heroes. In this case, because we have no bowlers, golem, bowler, uh, I'm sorry, golem, Valkyrie, and heroes. And unfortunately, that queen will walk, but we've got a, a king in the core with the golem and some Valkyries. Now, they're going to go in, they're going to gut, they're going to take care of some things, but he's got three heal spells, and that means that this is a weaker kill squad than the average, because we've got ourselves three heal spells. Um, normally, what you do with your kill squad, and it's up to you, guys, it's up to you, it's up to the base design how hard and how far you want your kill squad to go. If you want your kill squad to go all the way into the core, you're going to want more Valkyries. But if you think because of the giant bomb locations or because of the base design itself, you can go all the way with your hogs, like in this case, um, then that's perfectly fine. It, it depends completely on the, um, on the base design and your preference, what you're comfortable with. At Town Hall 9, almost all bases can be three-starred with almost any proven three-star strategy. Now, don't quote me on that because once you get into the super hard bases like CWL, it definitely you definitely cannot lalo an anti-lalo base. You cannot anti you cannot hog an anti-hog base. Uh, you definitely want to play to the base's weaknesses. But um, you know, at the end of the day. You can use hogs on probably 80 to 85% of the bases available out there. So, uh, hogs completely clean up that base. You guys, it's a very a very simple kill squad with the Govaho, and it's a, a very uh, very clean, very quick three-star for the Landlord. And uh, Baby Dragon for the funnel. You want to obviously make sure that your kill squad goes in. we got a clan castle of hogs instead of bowlers. Uh, that's just how it works, guys. Now, moving on, we've got Elrond, and Elrond ain't going to mess around with no golems, all right? He's got a Queen Walk Vaho, not a Go Vaho, just a standard Vaho, all right? So, Queen Walk, uh, well, actually, it's clearing up some corner buildings first. He had a corner Tesla is going to handle from Titan's base, and um, this is a lower level base, but... You know, it is what it is. We 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 have the bases we have. It's still a very anti three star base. So Queen Walk going in, definitely going to be handle handling that enemy queen and the enemy clan castle very nicely. Um, starting up, you got a raid spell done on the Queen Walk. We've also got a nice funnel being established by a single wizard on the right. May need another wizard there for that elixir collector. I'm not entirely sure, but we got ourselves a poison spell in the enemy clan castle. Baby dragon witch. 
all bad things, guys. All bad things for a clown castle. You definitely want to wipe them out quickly. Queen walk absorbs them nicely. And notice, guys, he's got Valkyries and he's got a hog. So he's going to be merging his king, his Valkyries, and his queen walk, gutting through that center, kind of like that where the air defense is in the middle, just a really compact area. They're going to go through. They're going to wipe out some giant bomb spots. They're going to wipe out some uh, the enemy king. And uh, just kind of gut the core. You want to get as much value out of that kill squad as you can, given there's only 15 hogs left in his com army composition. Now, Wizard's down, kind of cleaning up these outside bases or uh, buildings on the base. Valkyrie's in, going to wipe out the enemy king now. Uh, the, his king's up. Uh, Wizard's going to help out. Heal spell. Now, that's a trick right there. Look at the heal spell. It's not inside the base. It's like outside the base. That is a trick that you have to learn is that you can use a heal spell wherever you want. However, I do not recommend them on the grass. Healing the grass is not a good plan. But, you know, it depends on where your troops are. You just want to keep your troops alive, especially the key troops like the Valkyries. Queen Walk is in. We got our hogs in now. They're kind of cleaning up everything. Those Both of those X-Bows, although they are level 1, both of the X-Bows are distracted on the King and the Queen Walk. So no big deal there. Now there's just a group of, of defenses. All the heal spells, all the other spells have been used up. But because I believe this base was already scouted, he knew, Elrond knew where the giant bombs were, and he handily took out this base. A giant bomb spot right there, kind of scary. But look at the kill squad, guys. He got his king, his Valkyries, a bunch of wizards, his queen walk, everything's still alive at the end of the raid. I mean, he might not have ended the raid with a lot of hogs, but the bottom line is he got three star with plenty of time to spare. So very, very nicely done for Elrond. As you can see, guys, the common theme is if you want to attack with ground, use hogs. But here is an interesting attack strategy used by Death Dealer. Um, and this is the Witch Slap, guys. And he's not just sending in his witches immediately. He's starting out with some funneling, taking out some outside buildings that are not targetable um, by defenses. And he's establishing his uh, funnel with the healer witch combination on the bottom corner. And then you'll also start him up, up, up there on the left corner. Um, and he's got his kill squad. I mean, King, Queen, normally you have ballers with the witch slap. All right. But this time, all Death Dealer does, he brings a P.E.K.K.A. I think this is called a Witch Rush or something, but uh, it doesn't matter what the name really is. The bottom line is, guys, he's using Witches. Because of the base design, he's able to jump his kill squad all the way to the end of the base. So big open compartments, not the best. Definitely, um, definitely open to the Witch Slap. And his P.E.K.K.A., Golem, King, Queen, everybody going to score. That's a lot of tanking. It's also a lot of DPS, especially with level 30 King and Queen. So he's got his uh, healed witches on the bottom, healed witches on the top. They're going to go all the way around the base. Uh, kill squad with the Pekka, the King, Golem, Queen, everybody going all the way to the end. Everything's staying nice and distracted. And I believe those witches are going to do all kinds of work on the outside buildings. Now the enemy, or our Queen, working on the Expo. Um, no big deal. Now, what's cool about the, the Witch Slap, guys, is that you really, you start all your troops, you put down your spells in a way to where it leads them in. You you might heal, you might rage the stuff in the core just to get them through. But at the end of the day, guys, it is quite spammy. And if used on the correct base, it is unstoppable. The Witch Slap is definitely one of those uh, go-wipe type of attacks where you just throw your troops out and have fun. So, um, not to take away from Death Dealer, it is all about base recognition. If you find a base that it's vulnerable to, to Witch Slap, then take advantage of that, because it's not difficult to build a base that is anti uh, Witch slap. So, you know, Death Dealer points to you, GG, man. But for that, uh, Corner Tesla getting completely overrun by a skeleton parade, and then the corner building goes down. So, very nicely done, Death Dealer, uh, for that Witch Slap. One of the only, actually the only, I think, in the entire uh, in the entire recap. Now, back to our Hog Riders. Again, no bowlers. Um, he's establishing his funnel with a uh, with a balloon taking out that corner. Uh, mortar, there we go, word wouldn't come to me for a second, uh, he's got his golem down, he's got an established, or a funnel being established on that left hand side with wizards, very simple, put your golem ahead, put your wizards behind, that's all very elementary stuff, jump spell in, so as soon as that golem gets rid of that mortar, that golem is going to start taking that queen, king and queen in, um, that's going to be basically a naked kill squad, you got golem, you got heroes and wizards, and their pers their objective, I almost said perspective, their objective was the enemy queen, and now the enemy clan castle, which happens to be a golem. So, uh, you don't see a lot of defending golems, 
but in this case you do so uh king with a special ability will help out with that queen is going down we got our hogs going down as well kind of taking out distracted buildings uh the golemite the golemites actually on north taking out that arch tower all by its lonesome and now guys what is next just the hog deployment now look at the uh the the what is that called the spells down at the bottom we've got a skeleton spell let's see how he uses that um it's gonna be pretty awesome actually so we got a heal spell down on hogs that are in the middle of a tesla farm a witch wizard tower sorry and uh just all kinds of death in that spot heal spell used very nicely we've also got some hogs coming in kind of merging in with uh with that group there we got a heal spell cheated just a little too far yolo master did his best with what he was given and another heal spell down there Look at that skeleton spell put down before the king hopped the wall. So now the skeleton spell will work on the enemy king. Very, very nicely done and also helps out with cleanup. So the hogs take out all the defenses. And now look at that corner Tesla. Ginyu, Captain Ginyu, you should be ashamed of yourself. You troll and a giant bomb out there too, man. That was crazy. Now those external Tesla farms and giant bombs make bases very vulnerable to hogs. So definitely not a uh, suggested suggested thing to do on a regular basis. But nicely done, Yolo Master, for the hog usage. Now, guys, we're at Leroy Jenkins. This was a 15 versus 15 war, so not not too many bases but Leroy Jenkins coming at this base this is an anti Lalo base all the air defenses up in one spot um, kind of a symmetrical base but he's gonna be, he's gonna beat this base with a weak kill squad Govaho what I mean by that again is not that many Valkyries the whole point get rid of the enemy Queen maybe the clan castle let your hogs do the rest so we got a couple of golems in, lots of tanking. That's good. Uh, King and queen in. He's going to jump over that compartment or that uh, cross, that X right there, right next to that uh, X bow. There it is right there. He's going to poison spell the drag, the dragon wizards in the clan castle. Also poison over the enemy queen. Golems are trying to do their tanking business. Queen is also trying to approach. Lots of high HP buildings in the way, but no big deal. As long as you stay true, have a good um, level 2 jump spell helps, uh, then you're going to be just fine. The Queen's going to take out the enemy dragon, and then that's it. He's got 3 heal spells and 19 hogs plus clan castle hogs to finish off the rest of this base. Now... Queen's working on the town hall, and then she's going to get the altar, and then she's going to walk outside the base. So he's going to go ahead and deploy his hogs uh, very handily, taking out this part of the base. Uh, you would expect spring traps in between those compartments, but um, not every single one. I mean, you don't have that many spring traps, so they, you know it's a pretty vulnerable. This base, however unbelievably anti laloon it may be, is incredibly easy to take down with hogs, and this is why it's important to know multiple strategies. So the hogs going out, guys. Again, just wiping out everybody, keeping them the heal spell. Uh, just just doing a great job so we're gonna drop a heal here very nice he's gonna take out the arch towers they're gonna work on the teslas there's an expo that is just unbelievably strong doing some work on him he's gonna save the heal just a little bit kind of back in hogs there kind of working on the tesla farm or the the wizard tower forgive me and then guess what he don't even need his last teal spell guys you're talking about leroy dominating that base very very nice and that base gives a lot of people trouble so Yep, he's going to swag this heal spell at the end of the raid right over that clan castle. Very, very nice, Leroy. That was awesome, man. That was awesome. And uh, I think that's it. No, we got one more, maybe two. I don't even know. I'm not used to doing 10 attacks. But Titan going in against old Dirty Basket. This is nine ranks up, guys. And he is using none other than go wee wee golems wizards and witches but let's not forget he's got six hogs so what is that like go wee wee ho and just an interesting strategy guys witches are very powerful right now so it's not a bad idea to try to incorporate them into your kill squad um they're good for um they're good for the funnel but they're also good for the kill squad itself so he's going in right now guys he has two jump spells so one of them is dropped there. He's looking to break into that wall. So very nice. Both heroes are down. Clan Castle with three baby dragons. I've seen that a lot lately. It's pretty hard to beat. Uh, Golem hopefully will tank. We got a bunch of skeletons. 
that are going to be doing some tanking as well. Enemy or our queen's going to shoot down those baby dragons slowly. Good thing they're under poison. He does also have another skeleton spell. Let's see how he uses that here in a bit. You don't see that very often. Um, King is up in front. He dies, unfortunately, but he is gutting this base, guys. All the, wi uh, the witches keeping distract uh, uh, defenses distracted. There we go. And um, all is going very well. As Hogs coming in on the left-hand side, he has no heal spells. All he has is a... Uh, a skeleton spell and the skeleton spell goes down onto that archer the air defense and tesla compartment there with the hogs and the hogs are going to just skirt the entire base very nicely um his queen still has the ability it looks like the hogs are kind of dying out but look at how many uh witches are still alive in that middle there i think there's two three four five six witches still alive i don't think he lost a witch maybe one but look at this guy see pops queen's ability she almost dies she gets rid of the mortar just in time she has like a sliver of health left and now it is all up to the witches now the wizard towers are the arch enemy of the witches just because you know the whole point of the witch is keep stuff distracted but the wizard tower takes them all out in one shot so it's going to all come down to this brute force guys can the witches with their own attack take out the wizard towers it looks like it is going to happen guys um that wizard tower just kind of trying to keep up but there's too many witches so very very nicely done we got a wizard kind of helping on the elixir uh, storage over there taking out the high hp buildings and now the witch is going to come up and take out the final wizard tower with the help of the queen with a couple of shots just like so so very nicely done titan that was a that was a lot of fun you don't see a lot of go wee wee ho but not bad not bad at all now we've got Snow Tiger. Now Snow Tiger, I believe, has a double feature in this video as he attacks KS Jazz using Hogs. And and, and again, let me let me just be for real here. Snow Tiger joined Knights of Zion a long time ago, and he has come a very long way. He's come a long way, and he learned Hog Riders. You, you can almost never go wrong with Hog Riders. So he has got his Goho, uh, probably Clan Castle Hogs. And he is, look at that smart deployment, guys. Dropped a giant, broke the wall, uh, lured the clan castle, poison spell down. Now, another golem, the king and the queen. He does have a skeleton spell. I believe this one's used for cleanup, but we'll just have to see. Um, I mean, really tackling a very dangerous spot uh, very handily, very, very nicely done. So, uh, they're taking out, they both get rid of the enemy queen, all the clan castle, kings ahead, jump spell, leading them all the way through half the base, so very nice. Um, using some balloons for some funneling, it's, uh, it's fun whenever you notice that you can do that. Whenever no defenses in the area can target air, it's an amazing thing. Um, hogs are going down already, giant bomb placed down, he was quick at that heal spell, so very nice, kill squad and, and golem still ahead. Um, his queen may get left behind. Yeah, she pops her ability. Now she's going to be walking, but we got hogs taking care of business. Uh, another giant bomb goes off, and so he lays down the heel. I think this may have been a fresh hit, actually. But as you guys can see, you can obviously tell that you do not require bowlers. I think bowlers do allow you to make more mistakes. Uh, but also you don't want to rely on them. You don't want to rely on your clan castle. You want to understand the strengths of your kill squad and your uh, the rest of the the army. So you've got tons of hogs. That is really all you need at Town Hall 9. I'm going to be very... Oh, and he swags a heel. Look at that. Good job, Snow. Um, I'm going to be very fair. I'm going to be very honest. You For most bases, you don't need anything more than hogs at Town Hall 9. Now, it's absolutely true at Town Hall 8. You don't need anything but hogs. You could use dragons if you want. But Town Hall 9's getting there. And uh, these guys are showing you right now. So we got Snow Tiger on one of those anti-Lalo bases. All the air defenses on one side. And he's going to rip this one up with Goho just again. He's got another skeleton trap. I think this one was used very nicely. I can't remember. But he's establishing his funnel down there on the gold storage with a baby dragon. Golem coming into the right corner. Going to keep his stuff distracted. He needs to establish his funnel on the top as well. I think he's got Clan Castle Hogs, but he's got a king in, level 20 king. So this is a um, sub-max heroes versus a pretty max base. At least level 3 expos are pretty dangerous. And look at this, guys. I love that. The corner Tesla, wall breakers, and he just distracts a Tesla with a golem. Wall breakers go right next to that Tesla as if they don't even care. That was a pretty strict, pretty, pretty scary move. Now, Clan Castle Hound, that uh, our queen's going to have to come in handy there because that hound is a, a dangerous thing. Uh, drop the poison spell, maybe? No, we don't need this poison spell because the king's ability wipes out the enemy queen. And uh, now it's just all about taking out that lava hound. If you can take out that lava hound, and honestly, 
So I think this is a fresh hit too, because honestly, if you find out you have a hound, then you can hog a base without worrying about the clan castle because the hound does so little damage. So definitely a fresh hit there. So uh, Snow Tiger goes in. He's coming in from the south. He's got a heal spell down. That hound pops, pups everywhere. Probably going to drop the poison spell. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but he's got hogs everywhere, guys. Uh, very uh, A very symmetrical base, so it's kind of easier to predict uh, where traps are once you've discovered one. But he drops the heal down on that giant bomb there because there was one on the other side. Uh, Wizard Tower is going down as well. He's got the queen still alive. She's going around the base, but all of the defenses are distracted on the hogs in heal spells. Look at this, guys. He's got the entire base pretty much wiped out, and he's still going to... Is he going to swag another heal? Goodness, Snow. Man, I mean, uh, <laughs> nicely done, man. Yeah, that, that's going to be it for the base. The hogs are going to start with a cleanup. He's got a... Oh, I, I didn't even see where I used that skeleton spell. Um, I'm sure you guys did, but I didn't. So either way, he didn't he didn't need that that heal, so he definitely overkilled the base. And again, that was a really strong base. So very nicely done. A swag heal over that clan castle. So very nicely done, Snow. <sighs> nicely done. And guys, I guess that is going to do it for today. I wasn't sure. I thought, I, I did think that Snow's attack was the last one, and it was. So what this hopefully proves to you guys is two things. One, if you must have bowlers and you don't have them, use, bowl, uh, use Valkyries. All right? Valkyries are a good replacement, but they're not required. As long as you pick your bases accordingly... Use a weaker clan or a weaker kill squad to take out the objectives. Clan castle, queen, um, maybe some wizard towers if you're using hogs. Your hogs can handle themselves. You have to be just be a little bit more careful if you don't have bowlers. So, guys, that is it for today as far as ground attacking without bowlers. Be sure and tune into the next episode. Not sure if that'll be tomorrow or when it'll be, but I will also be uploading the uh, the attacks for error attacks without bowlers that's coming very soon guys but hope you enjoyed this like the video if you liked it subscribe if you have not joined the class family and um, also guys be sure and share this video with your clan mates especially if you do not have a bowler donation uh you know steady bowler donations it's good to know army compositions you can copy them from the the attacks depending on the base make sure you judge your attack based on the base's weakness as always but if you don't have bowlers, share this video with your clan mates. It will help them a lot. I know it's helped our guys a lot too. So that is it for me, guys. I love each and every one of you. And as always, I will see y'all again next time.